Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Jupiter, Florida, which is just a little bit north of West Palm Beach on the east coast of Florida. We're gonna show you this home behind us by DeVosta Homes. We're in a community called Bridgewater, which is a very interesting community. It has one acre plus lot sizes here, which is very unusual for new construction. So if you are interested in having a large lot, this would be a community that you wanna look for. Uh, also, they do have a few lots in the back that are five acres that you can put a custom built home on as well if you're interested in doing that so let's talk a little bit about this home behind us this home is called the Livingstone it is a five to seven bedroom home with five and a half to seven and a half baths it is 5,374 square feet where it starts and goes up from there the base price at time of filming and we're in January of 2023 is going to be two million one hundred seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety dollars now that is the base price when we're doing new homes we have base price lot premiums and upgrades the lot premiums here are in the half a million dollar range so keep that in mind if you want to build one like the one we see behind us we're probably going to be in the mid threes just to give you an idea of how much this would be completed if you do build this home so if you are interested in buying or selling a home anywhere in the nation but especially in florida make sure you give me a call again my name is mike my phone number is 407-487-3030 i have very good professionals throughout the state of florida with lots of knowledge and experience in luxury homes and also starter homes throughout the state that can help you with your home search or your home sale so let's go ahead and talk a little about this home as we come up of course we have that very large lot so we have plenty of space here the driveway here goes on forever it is nice paved driveway and we even have a nice landscaping right in the middle of the driveway as well with some palm trees popping out and then we come over to the house the house has a four car garage we have two cars on this side we have a two car oversized garage on this side that will show you when we go into the home of course we have carriage lights some really nice elevation styles like a coastal design and then of course we come up to the front entry it is covered and we have these beautiful french doors with this glass design on the front and a sort of like a teal color on the door so let's go ahead and go inside and check out this amazing home all right so welcome into this home so let me go ahead and close the door behind me so the first thing that everyone will probably notice is what's over to my left which are the stairs the stairs curve and go all the way up to the second floor very very beautiful and definitely something that you notice as soon as you walk into the house and of course we do have the very tall ceilings over 20 foot ceilings and this light fixture of bronze lights that come down right in the center of the staircase as well as i go over closer to the entryway we do notice that the floors are these oversized ceramic tiles that go throughout the first floor and of course you can't miss the accent wall over to my right as well with these mirrors that we'll see in other rooms of the home as well as we continue now where I'm standing, what I do see, of course, are the stairs and then past the stairs is gonna be the dining room and then it goes over into the family room and kitchen. So you get a really nice view as soon as you walk into this home. So let's go ahead and continue and go over into the dining room. Before I go into the dining room, let me talk about the hallway going through. So as we come through the hallway, one of the things that you're gonna notice is if you look up, we have these tray ceilings with the crown molding and of course the wallpaper with the recessed lights in, which really look nice. And we'll see that design throughout the house as well. And then even over on the wall, we have the built-in in lights with the Edison bulbs as well. It's all really done well. Everything sort of matches with the bronzes all out through the house. Now, going over into the dining room, the dining room is currently set up for eight people to sit around. So you have plenty of space here to sit and enjoy your Christmas or Thanksgiving dinners. And of course, we do see that we do have this light fixture above us with these globes coming down. And then if we look up on the ceiling, we do have that tray ceiling with the crown molding and wallpaper that we saw over in the entryway. Now, over on the far side, we do have like a little breakfast nook area with a refrigerator some plenty of space for wines or beverages whatever you need in the dining room and then we do see that accent wall that matches the front entryway with all the mirrors going throughout and then as we come over on the other side we do see that we do have solid surface countertops and of course the cabinets that go through as well in between the dining room and the family room so let's go ahead and go into the family room and show you the family room so as i walk over into the family room the first thing that everyone's probably going to notice is the accent wall behind the tv it's done really well i love the design of this so these are things that you may have to do after the fact so you build with a builder and then you have an interior designer come in and do some of these extra little touches to the home that might be one of those examples and of course the other thing about the family room that you're going to notice is if i look up we have those really high ceilings over 20 foot ceilings and of course the ceilings have a lot of crown molding we do have the tray ceiling with the crown molding and of course that same wallpaper we saw in the entryway and dining room and of course a bronze light fixture that comes down we also have three windows up there for some natural light to come in now on the other side we do see railings that 
come over by the loft area as well. So it's a really nice area here in the family room. And of course, right behind the family room, we do see we have a sliding glass door that opens up to the outdoor living area. And this is where that big lot comes in really handy. You have plenty of space for outdoor living, pool, and then you have a yard that goes on for quite a bit. They even have space here to put a casita if you want to put a casita outside as well. These sliding glass doors open all the way up and all the way into the back of the wall. So you really have that outdoor and indoor living throughout the home as well. So as we come over, the next stop would be the kitchen. So the first thing that we notice about the kitchen, of course, is gonna be the center island. Beautiful solid surface counters that have waterfall edges. We do have some storage on the center island. And of course, it's currently set up for three people to sit here, enjoy morning breakfast. And we do have three light fixtures popping down from the ceiling, really nice pendant lights. And then as we continue, we go over to the refrigerator. So the refrigerator here is a sub-zero refrigerator. So really nice, high quality refrigerator. All the appliances in these homes are high quality appliances. And as we continue to go through, we'll see that we have lots of storage. We have all these storages in like the light gray colors that match the uh, center island. And then of course the solid surface countertops, cabinets going all the way up with the crown molding on the cabinets as well. And as I go this direction, we do have a window going out to the side yard. What I probably do is plant some really nice bushes here as well, some tropical landscaping, maybe even something that attracts hummingbirds. So if you're here doing stuff, you can actually look out and see some beautiful landscaping out here. We have the pantry right on the other side. So as I come in here, you can see that we have plenty of space for all your dry goods. And of course, if this isn't enough space, there's a ton of cabinets in the kitchen as well. So you shouldn't run out of space in this specific home. It's got lots of space for entertainment and having a lot of everything you sort of need for the kitchen. So here we are on this side, we do have a six burner gas stove top. Um, so it is a Wolf appliance with an oven or two ovens down here as well. And then we do have a pot filler also in bronze. The actual backsplash is going to be the same color as the countertops. And then we do have the air vent, which is an industrial air vent, making sure all the nice smells go outside. Now on the other side of the center island, we do have a darker shade gray cabinets compared to the other side with the lighter gray. And of course we do have the sink bronze faucet as well. And, and then as we continue to go, we'll notice that we actually have two dishwashers here instead of just one dishwasher. So plenty of space to do all your cleaning that you might need here in the kitchen. Now, as we continue, we go to the third oven that we have also a wolf oven. And we also have the microwave right above it. So we have everything you need in the kitchen. So as we continue, they've had these built-in shelves going all the way through the breakfast nook as well. So you have all the plenty of storage here. Nice windows, three windows that are pretty high that gives you privacy, but also gives you light. And of course, these picture windows looking out on the backyard, right in the breakfast nook, currently set up four or five people. And of course, the light fixture above us. Now, one thing that Haley noticed that I didn't notice is when we looked at this table and we looked at the design of the table, it actually matches the uh, accent wall over in the family room. We don't know if that was done on purpose or just coincidence, but we thought that was a nice touch as well. So let's go ahead and pass by the outdoor living area as well. We'll take you out there later on in the tour and take you into the primary bedroom suite. So right here is the door going into the primary bedroom. We changed from the ceramic tile to the engineered hardwood. As we come in, the first thing you notice, of course, is the king size bed right in the middle. We have end tables on either side, windows on either side of that. And as I look up, we have the tray ceiling with the crown molding, but this one here has a lot of woodworking going all the way around. The woodworking is really detailed, even around the speakers. You can see how they did the woodworking around the speakers as well to make it all go in really well. We have these light fixtures popping down from the ceiling, two of them right over the bed. And then on the other side, we do have like a living room in the bedroom. So if you wanted to come here and enjoy an evening cocktail, enjoy some TV, you can come here, sit down, watch a movie, do whatever you need, nice light fixture above us. And we do have the crown molding with the woodworking above us as well that matches the primary bedroom suite. Of course, these windows looking out onto the pool and your huge backyard. So let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. That'd be our next stop. So let's go this direction and we'll just go down this way and we come to the primary bathroom. So primary bathroom does have the sliding doors that are hidden away. So you can just open or close those as needed. And then you go into porcelain tile, beautiful tile throughout the primary bathroom. And then let's go ahead and talk about this side first. So we do have two sinks. We'll talk about this side. This has got the one sink and plenty of extra space here for makeup or whatever you need. Nice dark gray cabinet, solid surface countertops. And we all have the bronze faucets, which matches 
the mirror, the outside edge of the mirror, and also the light fixture above it. The porcelain tiles go all the way up to the ceiling as well. You see that throughout the whole bathroom. We do have a closet here for any sort of linen and towels. And then we have the water closet on the other side, which is nice and spacious. So that's also really nice. And we go into the shower. We have a bench, porcelain tile going all the way up to the ceiling. A nice window here for some privacy, but also some natural light coming in. Some beautiful decorative tile, tile in between the porcelain tile. As we come, we have a rain shower head above us, and then also a regular shower head on the other side, both also in bronze. And then as we continue to go through on the other side, we do see we have the other sink. So you have the second sink here with also the nice cabinets, solid surface counters, and then the matching mirror and light fixture. Now, if you're looking for a nice closet, we have it right through this door. So follow me this direction. Haley, who's running the camera today, wasn't too fond of this specific closet just because of what's behind me, the mirror. She hates getting on camera. Hopefully we'll change that one day. But if we come in and we go to the left, we'll see we have plenty of space. They've done really nice custom cabinet work here. I love the colors as well, all on the wall. Now on the other side, we do have a matching set, a little bit smaller on this side, but plenty of drawers, all nice custom cabinets, even a nice light fixture above us that I'm sure everyone would like. You, know, you even have the recessed lights here, so you have plenty of light here. And in the morning you can come and use this mirror to make sure you're all set for whatever your events are for that day. So let's go ahead and go this direction and show you another full bathroom which is right here in the back, which would be our pool bath. So as we come down this direction and go right, we go into another full bath. We have the nice cabinets here with the light grays and solid surface countertops. And then we have the mirror, which is framed with a bronze frame. And above it, we have the light fixture with some Edison bulbs, also bronze. You see that theme going throughout the whole house. Now we have the toilet right next to it. And then the shower, the shower is a frameless shower, beautiful white tiles, and also the gray tiles going all the way up to the ceiling and pebble tile on the floor as well. All done really, really well. On the other side, we have a door going out to the outdoor living that we'll show you a little bit later on in the video. So stay around for that. So let's go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff downstairs. We have another bedroom to show you an office and a laundry room. So follow me this direction. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll definitely appreciate it. Both me and Haley, who is doing the camera and also is my daughter today. So let's go ahead and go over this direction. We come down this hallway. Another nice feature that they've done in this home that sort of puts it to another level, just a little extra woodworking on the walls that you see throughout the house. So let's go down to the left. We come through to another entryway to a two car garage. We have a drop center here that's nice built in, plenty of shelves where you can put all your shoes and any uh, backpacks that you have. And then the garage is right behind me. So it is a two car oversized garage, as you can see, you fit two cars and some storage. On the other side, we do have an air handler and then we have the half bath. Half bath has the toilet, a pedestal sink, the very same mirror and light fixture we saw in the full bathroom in the back. And we even have tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And of course the window looking out on the front entryway. So let's go ahead and go back down the hallway. And instead of going right, we're going to go ahead and go left and show you what we have here. So as we go left, we'll go into the second bedroom. So this is nice because on the first floor we have our primary bedroom and then we have our secondary bedroom suite, which is nice for guests that don't want to go upstairs. You can let them use this bedroom here. We have a nice light fixture above us. The headboard sort of a built-in accent wall behind the bed. And of course we have our end table window out here for some natural light. And then we come into a bathroom. This one also has the sliding door that we saw in the primary bedroom suite. So you can open and close that nice and easy. Nice cabinet, same sort of color cabinets, countertops, same mirror and light fixture we saw in the other bathroom. This one has the frameless shower as well with some nice gray tiles. I love the accent tile going through the center of the tiles as well. So, and then of course behind us in the bedroom is also the closet. So let's go ahead and go across the hallway. So, which is nice if you want an office in your home, this is a perfect spot for an office. We come through here, we have a couple French doors that you can open and close for privacy. And then we come into the office. I love this desk. The furniture they picked out here is really good. The interior designers did a great job. We have an accent wall with some woodworking behind the cabinet here. And then of course above us, we have the tray ceiling with the crown molding and the wallpaper that matches the dining room and entryway and a few other areas of the home. This beautiful light fixture hanging from the center of the ceiling as well. So let's go ahead and go over to the other side of the house. So follow me this direction. We'll pass the stairs and entryway. It's a really beautiful entry. And then come over to the other hallway. As we come over here, the first thing that we're gonna notice is that we have a drop zone, which goes right on the other side of the garage, which we'll show you in a second. And then we come into the laundry room, nice spacious laundry room, 
plenty of space here to do all your laundry. You have your washer, your dryer, a little area over here for folding. I love the backsplash, the tiles, sort of like the light grays and blues and whites going throughout the backsplash. Nice window there that you can look out when you're folding your uh, clothes. And of course, the backsplash continues all the way on the side. Plenty of storage and cabinets as well, and the nice grays. I love the solid surface countertops where the sink is as well. So if we come back this direction, I'll show you where the other two car garage is which is right behind this door. So I open up this door, you can get a peek into the other two car garage, a little bit smaller than the other one, but plenty of space for two cars. So let's go ahead and go back this direction. We'll come back towards the front entry and then go upstairs. Now, as I go upstairs, we'll notice that the stairs are nice wood uh, stairs. And of course the framing here, the railings are metal and wood going all the way up and curving up to the second floor. And you get that beautiful view as you walk up here. So I'll see you upstairs. All right, so before I get to the second floor, a couple things I noticed as I walked up here. One thing is how this wall curves, and they put a little plant shelf here where you can put some decor, some nice accents. I thought that was a nice little touch. And as I continue to walk up, we notice that we do have the three windows for some natural light up on the second floor. So here we are on the second floor. We do have the engineered hardwood floors throughout most of the area on the second floor. But before we do and show you the rest of the second floor, we're gonna go ahead and go right and show you the media room. Probably one of my favorite spots in this home. We transitioned from the engineered hardwood, some really nice plush carpet. And this is a really nice room for watching movies. We just watched Avatar last night. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it to go see it in 3D or 4DX. Um, in the movie theaters. We definitely enjoyed that movie, but we have a blackout curtain here so you can really have this nice and dark, put where your favorite movie is on there. I love the woodworking around the whole room and also the built-in lights on the side. It gives you that real movie theater look. It's really nice, wide, big space. We even have a built-in cabinet with the same solid surface counters that we saw in the kitchen. So everything in this home really matches the interior designers. Did an A-plus job on designing this home. So let's go ahead and continue the tour on the second floor. What we're gonna do is go right. And then we're gonna show you bedroom number three, which is right down this hallway. So follow me this direction. And we go into bedroom three. So it's a nice size bedroom. We have a full size bed. We even have an area for an office. So if you have a kid using this room, they'll have their bed, they'll have a little office to do their homework. Of course, the window's looking out so you can see the beautiful Florida weather. And as we come through, we have our closet. And then this one has its own bathroom, which is really nice. Comes back into ceramic tile floors, the nice gray cabinets, solid surface countertops, very similar mirror that we saw in others. But the light fixture here is a little bit different with the little blacks in an X shape. And then we do have a tub with tile going all the way up to the ceiling in this bedroom suite as well. So let's go ahead and follow me back down here and show you the loft area. I think this is really neat. This is probably a nice view as we come out here. We'll see the loft area, but over to the left, you'll see all the railings going around. Of course, the stairs going down. And then if we look on the other side, we have the railings going down into the family room. We have a little sitting area here. People can sit. They have a nice chess set in the middle if you wanted to play chess. A light fixture right above us. Nice little area to cool out and relax. Um, and then we continue and we go to the right to bedroom number four. So follow me this direction. This bedroom's probably a little bit bigger than the other one that we just went into. So we have, looks like a queen size bed here, a couple end tables. We do have a window looking out to the other side of the home. What's really nice here is we have an accent wall that's sort of wallpaper with dolphins coming out. Uh, that's really neat. We do have our closet and then also a full bathroom. And when we go into the bathroom, we see some very similar things that we saw with the gray cabinets, nice solid surface counters, same mirror that we saw, a little bit different light fixture. Frameless shower, love the tiles on the floor. There are hexagon tiles on the floor, a little bit smaller than the hexagon tiles in gray, going all the way up to the ceiling. So beautifully designed as everything else in this home is by DeVosta Home. So as we come over here, we go into what I find is a pretty interesting room. So we have a little hangout area here, and I love how they've done the wall. It's a creative room or a chill and laugh room or doing whatever you want. You get some nice vibes in here as well. It's vibrant, it's fun. Uh, that's what this whole room is about. You can do whatever you want. Probably a nice little area, sit up, do some work. I'm sure we would probably use this to maybe even edit our YouTube videos um, that we have in, uh, <laughs> as, as we're doing our editing. Be a perfect spot for that. So let's go ahead and go this direction and go to the right. And as we go right, we go into another full bathroom, nice ceramic tile floors. Darker gray cabinets. This one's got dual sinks with a solid surface countertops and some uh, faucets. This one has a really cool mirror, probably one of my favorite mirrors that we've seen. It looks like a pug with some 
eyeglasses. So that's pretty neat there. So you have the two different mirrors, light fixture above. And of course, on the other side, we do have a tub with shower combo, with beautiful tile, with the accent tile in between, of course, a window behind me. So, and then right next door to that is gonna be bedroom number five. So follow me this direction. Here's bedroom five. Also, it looks like a full-size bed, couple end tables on your side, windows looking out on either side of the bed. This really cool wallpaper, which looks like birds in flight. And then of course we have a feather light fixture above us, closet on the other side. And of course the bathroom is the bathroom that was in the hallway. So that is it. So let's go ahead and go and show you the outdoor living area. All right, so here we go. We're now in the outdoor living area. So the first thing that everyone's probably gonna notice are the floors, beautiful stone floors throughout the outdoor living area. And then another thing we did is we opened up the sliding glass doors, hid them behind the walls. You can really see how this opens it up. We have our family room, we have our kitchen, we have our breakfast nook, all opened up to the outdoor living area. So this is a covered area here. We have like a little living room area where you can sit around, enjoy the Florida weather. It's a beautiful day here today in January, 2022. Absolutely beautiful, good temperature as well. As we continue to come through, we see the covered area goes all the way on the other side as well. So we have a couple seats over here with the fan above it. On the other side, we do have an area where we can put a summer kitchen and even TV if you want it to. And as we continue to go through, we can then go into the outdoor, outdoor living, the non-covered area. We see we have some AstroTurf. And then on either side, we have a couple lounge chairs. And then we come over to the pool, which is a nice size pool. You can do laps on this pool easily. It's one of the bigger pools that we've seen. We have a sitting area and then a very nice area where you can dive in over here tanning area where you put some tanning uh, tanning lounge chairs in the water a jacuzzi that's built in as well beautiful stonework around it also it's even some hexagon tile as the accent tile all the way around the pool beyond the pool we do have some tropical landscaping some palm trees and then the yard that just goes on for quite a while and then after the yard we do have a waterway so this community has got 107 lots available a lot of them have the water views like we see behind us and of course all of them are about an acre or bigger um, it's surrounded by a natural preserve so it's a very good spot here in Jupiter Florida. So if you're looking for a home that's a new construction home with lots of property in Florida, this is one of the few options that you have to purchase in Florida. And if you are interested, make sure you give me a call. I'll get you with my team that are experts and knowledgeable in this area to help you with your purchase. And I appreciate everyone watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.